Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the playwright hooks. So let's begin. There are four hooks in playwright. So we have basically before all. So it will execute once before all of your tests. Okay. So if you want to execute something before all of your tests, you will be using the before all hook. Similarly, if you want to execute something after or before each of your test so you will go with the before each and similarly we have after all and we have after each so before all will execute once before all of your test before each will execute once before each test and after all will basically execute once after all test and after each will execute once after each test so now why we need to execute something before and after so let's try to understand this with, a, with an example. So for this, let me go here and let me show you this example. So in today's world, we have different functionalities, different applications, and most of the applications have now login and logout. Okay. So now your approach is that you need to log in, check the functionality one, and then you need to log out. Okay. So this is your approach. And then you have to log in again test the functionality two and then log out. So here login and log out are something which is repeating. And what we will do is that we will use them as a hooks and we will use them as before and after each test. So because what we are doing is that we are logging against each test. We are logging off against each test. So if we use before each and after each, so this will be the output. So for example, so we will be logging we will be testing the functionality one. We will be logging out. And then similarly, we will logging in again. We will testing the functionality two and we will be logging out. And when we talk about before all and after all, so our before all will execute once before your test and after all will execute after all of your test. So here if we go with the before all and after all. So what it will do is that it will log in once before all of your test like here functionality one and functionality two and it will log out so most of the cases when we talk about the before all and after all so this is, is really helpful when you are working with some kind of a configurations thing maybe you need to connect the database you need to set some parameters before you want to execute your test so what will you do that in that case so in before all so you will set your configurations okay then before all will be done because it will be done only once for all the test cases then your test one will be executed followed by test two test three and so on and finally obviously we have set some kind of a configurations to execute these specific one to three test cases then we need to terminate those configurations we need to reset those configurations then for that we will be using after all so here we will be you know clearing the configurations so similarly this is not about the configurations only in some applications you might need to connect to the database you might need to run some queries before you want to execute your test and once your test will be executed then you might need to clear the database connection and all the things so these hooks are really helpful because you it helps you to execute or control the sequence of your execution so if you use before each so it will execute before each of the tests right and when we talk about after each it will execute after each of your tests and before all so before all means before all of your tests and after all means after all of your tests. So in most of the cases, these are two approaches which we need to take when we are working with our automation scripts. So uh, let me go to the Visual Studio code here and let me create one test file here and I'm naming it as hooks.spec.js. Okay. So the first thing is that let me import so import let me import the test 
and expect and we are importing it from we have playwright okay and first we will go with a very simple example just to understand this one then after that we will do some practical example so uh, if you want to use the before all or after all so simply test dot you see that we have this after all after each before all and before each so i'm using with uh, first we will use the before all because it will execute once before our all of the test so right now i'm not opening any application here i am simply uh, showing you how it works and in the in the coming example what i lose that i will open the browser and all things okay so we will just see right after this one just to understand the concept first then we will execute some example now uh, here in before i'm just what i'm doing is that i'm simply going here and logging or printing that this is before all so in actual what you will be doing is that you will be you know having your code inside this one which you want to execute before all of your test once okay so this is our uh, simple before all and now what i'll do is that similarly let me copy the code instead of writing to save some time so here instead of before all uh, i will say before each okay and here i'm saying that this is before each now let me copy this one and let me go and change this one here so test dot after all okay so this is after all and it will execute only once right so after all and then we have after each change to after each here and each. okay now what i need is that i need some test actually so let me copy this one and let me paste it here and i'm removing this part from here and simply i am saying that so for example if we want to i'm saying that this is my first test and let me copy this one I'm simply pasting it here and i'm saying this is my second test okay but here the problem is that it would be hard for a playwright to understand which test we are talking about so what we will do is that we will be using a title of the test here as well so simply for async so what i'll say that this is first test okay then comma async so now we have defined the title of the test here as well so if you if you want to invoke the page here so we can do that but we don't need a page here right now okay so similarly i will copy this the code from here and i will paste it here and i'll say this this is my second test now we have two tests here this is the first one one then we have basically test after each after all before each before all okay so i'm saving this one and now let me run this one here so let me clear this one and let me run this one so we don't need a headed mode because we are not opening the browser here so simply what we are doing is that we are simply executing the block of the code and just printing the things into the console here so let's uh, execute this one and see what happens here so you see that our two tests pass here and let me show you so here you see that before all it's executed once okay then before each this is my first test so before each will execute once before each of the test then after each okay then again my second test 
so it is also referring to this is the first test case and this is the second test case right so again before my test then after my test and this is my second test and then finally this is after all which is after all the executions right so before all execute it once before all of your tests after all it works in the same way then we have before each and after each will, which will actually work against each of your tests okay now the, the, i hope that now you have understood the concept of hooks here so now let me create one more file here and let's see some examples so hook example dot js okay and let me copy this line of code is to be here and again now we will go with the test dot so i am giving example of each here so before each then here async okay so and now because we are working with the browser or the pages so simply what i'll do is that we will invoke the page here or the page fixture we'll be using here and followed by a error function here and inside this so I, what i want to do is that i want to open the browser before each of my tests so i will go with a very simple mbc example here so await page dot go to and here we need to provide the url so for uh, this example i'm using a chrome or the google.com so let me copy this one and let me paste this one here okay so this is our before each so uh, before our before each will execute against our each test okay so this is each now let me copy this one from here and let me paste it here okay now here i will say after each of my test so simply what i need to do is that i'm i need to close the page so page dot close we have this method here and that's all i'm not writing something else here so, so we have before each we have after each now we need to write a test here so let me scroll this bit here and here so simply now we will write bring our test so now our first test is that we need to verify the title of the page okay and now again a sync right and then inside this we are using a page fixture here and followed by error function and now inside this we will be writing our first test so i will be going with the very basic so i am creating a one variable called as title okay and i will be getting the title of the page using await page dot we have a method called title so it will get a title and save this into a variable which is named as title here and once it will be safe here so now i need to put our session so we will cover the sessions in detail but as of now i'm going with the session so when you have to write the sessions you will be using the expect here and inside this we will be you know providing a title and title to be okay so let me to b so to title dot to be but we want the title here so title is basically um, let me go and check the title so what, what title we are expecting here so just go here go to inspect here and in the header section you will find the title of this page so the title is google right let me copy this one from here and let me go here and paste it here 
okay so this is very uh, simple and very basic our test now i'm creating one more test here and here what i do is that i will verify the url okay and simply i'm creating a variable called url and here if we want to get a current url in the playwright so simply page dot url we'll be using this method here okay and again we will be using a session here and the page title is sorry the page url is this one so here i'm pasting this this one okay now our before each and after this is ready and now let's run this one here and see what happens here so our file name is uh, basically hook example hook example dot spec dot js and now let's see what happens so once it will execute i will show you some configurations here because those are really important so if those configurations are not changed you will not find this kind of execution here so we executed without the headed so what i lose that i will be using a headed mode so the, so that we can see the browser opening and closing and all the things so it's going to the google.com and you see that it opened again and closed thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial